In East Ayrshire, integration is about the well-being and inclusion of all our residents. It's about kindness, respect and ambition for the future. For our young people, it's about starting well. For those of us not so young, it's about living well with choice and control over our lives. Hi, my name's Frida. I'm the team leader here at the day centre, the Lena Ironside Centre. Moving into this new building made a, such a difference to everyone from the old building. This building's so much better. But now they're like they enjoy being here. They like being here. They tell me they, you know, you can tell by their by their facial expressions, and they're they're just happy to be here. And my name is Mandy Lynn and I'm a reablement assistant. My experience so far um, in this position has been amazing. The team have welcomed me with open arms. The, the training has been amazing. The clients we meet with, just to see that smile on their face, is, the whole experience has been great. I fell and broke my hip and then I had to get carers in. I had excellent carers, I couldn't have thought better. I put everything at my disposal and gradually I weaned myself off at everything. I think if you've got good carers, it makes a difference because they can encourage you, they can show you an easy way to do things. The look on their face when they have got their independence back, they look at you as if to say, I've done it. And to be part of that is, is amazing, it's great. I wouldn't have managed without carers. I wouldn't have managed without carers at all. In my view, the integration of health and social care services is one area where it can genuinely be said that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. I think that if you were to ask staff if they wanted to go back to the old, separate ways of working, the answer would be a resounding no. So what I do is that I set the tables for the dinners, so that will, do, that will include setting the cutlery out, the cups, the cups and saucers, teaspoons, and the juices and the milks and basically everything that's to be put on the, t on the tables for dinner. And then I would usually go into the kitchen and wash dishes for them. We're blessed within the borders of having access to some fantastic communities in all of our towns and localities. We have many, many activities and societies and clubs that people can take part in, and all of them have a role to play in health. We can see a direct relationship between uh, participation in these activities and the fact that people can actually improve their health outcomes. It's just a different way of working. It's a more rewarding way of working, and I think it is, it's, it's hugely effective and it, it builds your staff satisfaction if you like and that, that is great to, to feel totally satisfied at the end of a day that you have done a great job. Hello, my name is Fiona McLeod and I'm a carer on the island of Lewis and speaking as a carer we sometimes feel as if we're trying to coordinate the uncoordinatable and not having to repeat the same information over and over again to every professional we meet would make a huge difference. So sometimes it feels as if it's actually only the patient and the carer who understands who's meant to be on the patient's team 
And if you don't do things from this end, then you'll not roll out integration from the patient carer perspective. Instead, you'll always be looking at things from an integration perspective, which always seems to start with structures, processes, and at times agency positioning, or worse still, self-preservation. Mum is a 90-year-old lady with vascular dementia. Things have been very difficult over the last few weeks with uh, paranoia and just her general health. She has bruising that she can't explain where she's got them from. I made a call to the GP. Within a day, I had district nursing helping out with medication, assessing her for, for um, any needs. The OT and physio visited with equipment for her. I've had an enablement team who are helping with her showering, her meal preparation, putting her to helping her get to bed. And we've now got a care manager in place from the social work department. The difference to mum's life is unbelievable. And to myself, it is so much better for all of us. Traditionally, um, the, basically we had occupational therapists uh, working in health and in social work and they were very separate services, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. we had two separate waiting lists, we had um, inequities in the time people were waiting to be seen in each service. And that, that was quite confusing actually for families um, and children. We have now simplified our processes, we've reduced our duplication. And we've also established principles for partnership working. The system doesn't inhibit me in any way whatsoever from using my camera and going out and enjoying the football. And it allows me to continue doing everything that I need to do and want to do. You know, when you're used to being in the hospital and people are around you all the time, and now that you're home and you can be in your own, I think it's a good idea if I needed help to see if I was doing something wrong or if I had a problem. Because I've now got that when people come in, I can make still make the tea. I, get, I couldn't have carried a teapot or anything no. like that. But it's everything for me. I felt I was kind of loose in a bed. And then they right, okay. Um, because I felt, because I gave the antibiotics, well. I felt well. Mm -hmm. So, but, and when you come in and said that you could do it at home, I thought, oh yes, yeah, I know. Right. Um, I know. it was just marvellous. My name is Casey and I'm 13 years old and I'm in foster care. Um, I've been going to private care for one to two years now. Um, my wish that I want from Champions Board is for the adults to keep their promises. Um, I, what I want out of Champions Board is for the future generation to get a difference, like a change that I never really got. I'm Danielle, I'm 15, I'm in foster care. I've been part of Proud to Care for around about a year now. Um, I want the adult chance to try and make care kids feel more accepted within society and not feel different or like kind of alien and just, you know, for people to understand that we're not different people and, you know, I love being part of Proud to Care because it's a great way to make friends who know exactly what you're going through and just to have fun and be yourself. So. <laughs> um, I think you could generalise by saying we would refer people with a mixture of social and mental health problems would, would be the, the biggest group that we, ref, we refer on and I think they're the people that gain most who perhaps have a chaotic lifestyle or can't easily find solutions to their problems that, that, that perhaps other people might be able to. Um, and I'd like to think that we try and uh, improve their health overall rather than just medicating people and sending them on their way. So I'd, I'd like to think it encourages us to look at people holistically rather than just look at ways of uh, improving their health through, through medication. Um, I think it's worked well for us because the wellbeing team are in the practice. We know who they are. They're part of the team. My name is Bobby Blackmore. I live in Bells Bank near Dale Millington. I'm a taxi driver. I heard about Flo originally from the doctors. As I say, I went to a health check evening at the local doctor's surgery discovered that I'd fairly high blood pressure. Uh, initially they were going to put me just straight on blood pressure tablets but then they decided they would uh, put me on flow. 
So my blood pressure was monitored by flow, uh, and over the course of actually almost six months after that, they monitored my pressure twice a week uh, and adjusted my blood pressure tablets until they were happy that my blood was stable. So the doctor issued me with a blood pressure kit, which looks very like the, the blood pressure apparatus that the doctor uses. Uh, you take that home with you, and uh, I think twice a week, you get a text on your phone to say, can I have your blood pressure reading? You take your blood pressure yourself, just the same as the doctor would take it, and text that back to flow. I think everybody gains from it. I mean, I, I say from not having to go and sit and wait in the doctor's waiting room to get my blood pressure taken. Equally, the doctors uh, or nurses say I was going to take your blood pressure, save it, not having to see me when I've got other people with more important issues to see. Lane Cuna is based in Newton Stewart. Um, we see all adults with chronic or long term conditions. The aim of the course is over 12 weeks, and the, the overriding aim is to promote self management, to give these guys the tools to be able to manage their condition and live independently and safely at home for as long as they can, to prevent hospital admissions and to, to boost confidence. Yes, I, I live alone, and this has been absolutely invaluable help me to find friends and to get the information that I need to help me to be independent. Sounds funny to say need help to be independent, but it does. Yeah. It really works and I really think it should be available all across the country. Yeah. I've been suffering for years alone and I didn't know who you turned to. And, uh, then a friend of mine took me to a fibre manager room who yeah. met this lovely young lady and uh, she signed me up for this course and it's been absolutely amazing. I've, I've learned things that I never knew that there was organisations out there that could help me mm -hmm. and uh, things like telecare, am I allowed to say the names? Things like telecare, even the occupational therapist that I was seeing through my doctor but I can get extra and uh, even things like if I can't get out somebody so I can get food to deliver to my door and the help out there is amazing. Hi, my name's Gail, I'm one of the Care Home Laser Nurses in Eastern Bartonshire. Hey, my name's Stephen Doolan, I'm a social worker with Eastern Bartonshire and the Older People's Team. Uh, me and Gail recently had the opportunity to work together collaboratively to, the, to support a local care home. One of the benefits of this was that we were able to get multiple perspectives on health and social care and um, we were able to draw on each other's um, skills and knowledge base to develop positive outcomes. We also learned about each other's role and how it fits into the organisation and we were able to de develop communication and networking to allow easier collaboration in the future and having had this opportunity to work together it's created relationships and we'll subsequently work together to support older, older adults um, in Eastern Bartonshire and promote more communication and joint working. Edinburgh's Health and Social Care Partnership has taken a collaborative approach around the people they support and care for. The MAC, the multi-agency multi -agency triage team, is an illustration of this. It's a daily meeting that is shared across acute third sector and partnership staff focused on people who've been admitted to hospital in the last 24 hours, delayed discharges and those people at risk of admission. The beauty of this approach is there's a shared vision, there's shared problem solving and communication around systems and processes in each other's organisations. Edinburgh has a long way to go, but we feel through this approach we're on the right track for the benefit of our people and the right time, right care approach. Hi, my name's Stephen. I'm a recovering addict. I used drugs for a long, long time. It's on methadone for 25 years through CAT teams. I met a, the South Recovery a community coordinator who directed me to recovery, meaning fellowship and recovery networks. With the help from CAT teams and doctors, I came off my methadone 16 months ago. I'm now a, a lead volunteer with the South Recovery Community Network, um, putting a bit back into life. I don't think I could survive without the McKenzie Centre. 
It is an absolutely wonderful place and I'm so lucky to be here. It's done me a world of good just to get out the house yeah. and have company. It's great because everything's laid on. You can get your hair done, get your nails done, you get the chiropodist and the staff are lovely. And if they think you're low, they'll come and give you a cuddle and that yeah, it's worth it's all, 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 mm. all the difference in the world. Just have that cuddle well, and feel someone's caring. Yes. That's what it's about. Yes. And they do care. I live for the days that I'm here. And my son moved back to Yorkshire, so I have no relatives up here. And without the day centre, I think I'd just go downhill. Staff are very helpful, very, um, very willing to give you advice when needed. Found the group work, especially very relative and very current and up to date. Helped me a lot. I took a lot with it. I went went to World Five with the the mindset. I'll put in and I'll take away what I put into World Five and I'll take away what I take away from World Five. And I took a lot away. I went in and my toolbox was empty. I came back out. My toolbox was full, which has helped me immensely today. Uh, my name is Margaret Brogan. Uh, I'm a carer for my husband, uh, Jim Brogan who suffers from frontotemporal dementia. He's suffered from this disease for probably more than the six years he's been diagnosed from. Um, it's, uh, his condition has deteriorated quite markedly. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I'm now looking at more support for him. I've decided to do self-directed support um, maybe about two years ago, maybe no more than that, more than two years ago. And once that kicked in, I found the support from social services was extremely good. I, I also, I need to mention this, there was a community connector and I had a really good chat with her and she gave me so much information. She was very helpful and going to Ayrshire Independent Living Network, they were very helpful too in getting the self-directed support set up. And uh, so far, is the self-directed support is working well. Well, here I am. I'm sitting in this chair, and my name's Margaret Thompson, and I'm no been well. They put me in the hospital, and they didn't like it. They come and says that I maybe want to you maybe get home, you know. I says, well, if I'm going to get home, I'm wanting to go home. She said, do you feel up to it? I said, aye, I feel up to it. Would, who wouldn't feel up to it, eh? Getting a chance to go home. So that's what happened. I came to my friends. She had to phone the doctor. What a shame it was. And uh, they said I was a near a goner, but I'm here now and I'm intending to stay. But with the good support that I've had from the team, the community team, oh, it's been brilliant. There's two comes in every day, different two, different two at night from different two in the morning and so on and so on. And it's just variety and it, it just cheers you up. It wasn't, if it wasn't for the team, I wouldn't have probably lasted as long in my friend's house. Be Active Lifelong Groups, better known as Ball Group, is an active ageing group for older people. I don't feel as lonely as I did. There was that gap. This gets us both involved, you know, socially as, uh, and also physically because we do get exercise. I would be a recluse. My son phones me, sometimes several times a day, but it would be days go by and I wouldn't speak to a soul. Ladies come through that door. Everybody's got a smile on their face. It's a highlight of the week, this for me. 
It really is, and it's so well organised, a brilliant committee. I've never been in a, an organisation that's as good as this. Well, my name is Ivy, and this is Willie, and we live in Varus Court in Forest. Well, it's such a lovely flat and so comfortable and it's so convenient. We're just minutes away from High Street here and everything you need. Butcher, baker, chemists and that type of thing. I am, um, keep saying I'm one of the lucky ones. I have no problems at all. And I still my car, although I'm coming up to my 90th birthday. <laughs> so, yeah. Ivy's had Crohn's disease for uh, over 30 odd years with lots of problems. And, and now my joints are all yes, so. rebelling. I mean, we have all the care that we need, but we still have our own independence, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, if, if you need a doctor, all you do is mm -hmm. press the red button and they're here yeah. on the doorstep in yeah. minutes. Yeah. We're both very happy. Oh, yes, oh, yes. We're both we're just happy that we're both here together yet, mm -hmm. and that we've got this privacy of our own, and and, and the help that we need when we need it. For us, it's it's just perfect, really. Yeah.